Welcome to this Betis training video. In this video, we will see how to change the fail action of a Betis RPX series actuator. This video should be used in conjunction with the written instructions provided in the IOM manual, which is available for download from the Betis RPX series product website. Please check section 5.2.3 of the manual for the required end cap bolt torque values. Remove air pressure and observe normal safety precautions, including use of eye protection. Always ensure that spring return actuators are in fail-safe position before attempting any maintenance. Pay particular attention to this requirement when manual operators are fitted. Check that the end cap is free and without spring load before removing the bolts completely. If after loosening the bolts by 5mm there is still compression on the spring pack, retighten the end cap screws and return the unit to the factory for service. Note the positions of the springs. When reassembling, they need to be placed back into the same positions. Turn the actuator on its other side and repeat the same process. Remove indicator assembly, limit stop bolts, nuts and washers. Using a suitable wrench in the top of the pinion shaft, turn the shaft counterclockwise to drive the pistons apart. Remove the pistons, complete with backing pads, o-rings, etc. Rotate the pinion by 180 degrees, so the 45 degree angle and orientation of the cam match figure 3 of the IOM manual. Verify the cam is in the correct position before reassembly. Rotate the pistons 180 degrees so the backing pads and piston legs are on the right-hand side of the bore when viewed from the o-ring end of the piston. Insert the pistons completely until the rack engages with the pinion and push gently inward, rotating the pinion. Return the limit stop bolts, nuts and washers back to the housing. The position indicator should now be oriented in line with the actuator body instead of perpendicular to the body. Place the springs back into the original locations and reattach the end cap. Refer to IOM manual section 5.3 for correct spring placement. Turn the actuator on its other side and repeat the same process. Change the type plate sticker to match the new configuration. Before mounting the actuator onto a valve, execute a basic function and air leak test. 